Moses Yale Beach in his own words in the entry from Wealth and the Biography of the Wealthy Citizens of the City of New York, which is described as being an alphabetical arrangement of the names of the most prominent capitalist whose wealth is estimated at $100,000 and upwards. He is approximately age 42 at the time of this entry, which is rather hyperbolic in that the references to Elihu Yale also are hyperbolic. A descendant of Puritans who turned Episcopalian, he was not really the founder of Yale College. He was a benefactor. And these hyperboles are also in Moses Yale Beach's description of himself. In his own words, Moses Yale Beach. Moses Y. Beach was born in Wallingford, Connecticut, his grandfather and father being the first settlers and largest landholders in that section. He is a connection on his mother's side of Elihu Yale, founder of Yale College and for many years governor of East India. At an early age, he apprenticed to the cabinet-making business in Hartford, Connecticut whereby overwork and working nights managed to save, by the time he had attained his 18th year, $400, with which he purchased the remainder of his time, and commenced business on his own account in Massachusetts. Soon after, he married and has since then passed through the rough and varied scenes of business life. After commencement of the Sun newspaper, he purchased Mr. Wisner's interest, being one half, paying for the experiment, $5,200. As soon as he found this to be a safe and permanent business, he bought out his partner, for which he paid $19,900. From this point, his star, or rather, sum, has been steadily in the ascendant, and now we find him the publisher of the most extensively circulated paper upon the globe, and the principal stockholder in four banks, all in good standing and prosperous, besides doing under his own name large amounts of banking. For assistance in his unparalleled business, he has the service of five sons, brought up an active life under his own eye, and who may yet prove chips off the old block.